used to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 Sample 428, an amoeba from Jupiter. Resistant to sulfuric acid and liquid nitrogen. Wow! You know, I never thought I'd ever have to say this, but discovering life on other planets hasn't been as exciting an experience as I had hoped. Hasn't been as exciting an experience as I'd hoped. People! Check out our latest batch of extraterrestrial organisms. This is bacteria from Venus and microorganisms. Where should we put them? Anywhere you want. We'll go get more. Do you know what I'd like, dear colleague? To not just meet new forms of life, but an intelligent new life form. Imagine how wonderful that would be. Nine, I can't imagine. How could we show our research for the next couple of thousand light years if nothing intelligent in the universe is found? But what about parallel universes? Perhaps their development went a different way and there were alternative forms of intelligence. Well, the device is pretty much almost ready. My friends, I'm delighted to announce that we can now travel between parallel universes. Pin, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. After much research, I found a way to shift through to parallel worlds, you see. This is PSW, a portable space warp I, I invented. The range is three meters. What a cool gadget. Now, let's conduct an experiment on moving through parallel space. Are you ready? Achtung! Nein! 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 Uh, did the teleportation work? Uh, difficult to say. That's wonderful. We will assume that the tests were successful. It's time to take a trip. Come on, everybody, come closer. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, it's a bad idea. Achtung! Is this really another world? Somehow it's not that parallel. Uh, again? Ladies? Gentlemen? Somebody pinch me. Phenomenal. Pardon me, madam. This is mine. Everyone prepare for teleport. Yeah, but... In this parallel universe, there's no intelligent person. <laughs> Achtung! Sorry, what was that? It's just a normal group hallucination. Naturally, but that case. Uh, who wants a cup of tea? Buttercup flowers, lacy ribbons. Phew. Where are we now? If these are their flowers here, <laughs> well, then what kind of bees have they got? Now that's a flower bed. What have we shrunk? 
Now this is something new. There can surely be other forms of life that we couldn't possibly even imagine. You mean like this? Holy carrots! That thing's what? Alive? Phenomenal! Most likely in this world, development has taken quite a different path. Moving plant. Are you kidding? We have such miracles in our neck of the woods. <laughs> really? First I've heard. You should have studied botany. It's a science. Botany isn't often underestimated as a science. But this is one of the most ancient sciences on Earth, just so you know. Our ancestors had to learn quickly to distinguish the poisonous plants from the edible ones. And that was the first form of botany. Scientists today have studied and cataloged almost 350,000 species of various plants. And this number only grows as new ones are discovered all the time. The study of plants opens our civilization to the amazing secrets of nature. This knowledge helps us in agriculture and medicine, in cooking and in industry. And all of this thanks to the most important of the sciences, botany. I thought botany was just a neato word for Chico. Buttercup, flowers, cacti, mushrooms. I'm afraid our knowledge of botany won't be very useful to us. Terrestrial plants are a lot different from these local specimens. Friend, we come in peace for the sake of establishing contact with fellow intelligent life. Guten <sighs> Tag! <sighs> 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 Phenomenal. It understands. Huh? Guten Tag. Nine. Not allowed. Give it back. It's not a toy. Oh, hey, you! Give oh, it back. Buttercup. Give, yes, it, give it back. back. Hold on. It's come just on. an attempt by the Thank native you. to hey, study come our. Hey, come on. It's beating him. Oh, you little weed. Hey, stop! Get stop. Come, come, back here. Here. Hey, come, come back here! 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 Carefully! Any kind of contact has to be friendly. My friends, be more tolerant! <laughs> Catch a plant? You kidding me? Wait up! Ah, 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 ah. You won't get away. Surround him, guys. Huh? <sighs> Give it back. You shouldn't take what's not yours. <coughs> Wait a sec. Where'd he go? Something tells me this intelligent life form isn't so intelligent. You know, he sure knew how to move. <laughs> Terrestrial plants are actually quite similar, though. Some of them can move around, too, you see. We are all used to plants as creatures that are not particularly mobile. But there are also some very active fellows among them. For example, the sensitive Mimosa pudica. All that it takes is the slightest touch and she immediately hides her leaves. It's this reaction to touch that gave it its nickname. Or, for example, the dancing Desmodium gyrans, which moves quickly and constantly flaunts its leaves. This plant is also known as the telegraph plant. The Desmodium can even dance to music. I'd rather our mimosa hit than these local flower sources. And now how are we gonna get home? It looks like we'll have to once again establish contact with our fellow intelligent life dude. So... A rabbit tracking? This is something new. I got it. I've got the trail. The flower source went that way. This way. Wow, 
Why didn't we just stay home? We've got plenty of our own intelligence. Why are we looking out for new types for? You don't seem to have that sense of cosmic loneliness when suddenly you realize that you are the only intelligent species in the whole universe. Stop! Check it out! Look! Wow! This is a clear sign of civilization. Perhaps, in this way, we're being invited to make contact. It's about time to. I've already worked up an appetite. Something's just not right. How's that for making contact? No, uh, regardless, uh, that's a pretty sophisticated tactic for luring hunters, which are apparently of a higher intellectual level. This doesn't prove a single thing. There are plenty of hunters like this where we're from. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yourself. I'm telling you, we've got plants like that. Carnivorous ones. Normally, plants need no more than sun and water, and all the useful substances they get from the soil. But in some regions where these nutrients are not very good, in order to survive, plants have to become predators. And if you're a predator, then you must be able to hunt. That, of course, is not an easy thing when you're a flower and you can't really move. So certain flowers have adapted themselves to lure their prey with alluring smells to colored petals. A fly flies by, smells the aroma, and thinks the table's been set for him. He sits on a flower and like that, becomes a treat himself. The best known example of one of these plant predators is of course, the Venus flytrap. But in nature, there are many other flowers that can also lure their victims, and not merely for pollination. So this ain't no walk in the park. The flowers around here could even have teeth. We gotta be more careful. <laughs> <laughs>